What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna to talk about running VIP Shop Management on tablets. I used to recommend uh, Surface Pro 7 or 8, uh, but Surface Pro 9 is the best right now. I mean, there's not much difference in the price, so if you're in the market of getting a new tablet, uh, make sure you get the Surface Pro 9, is a lot nicer. The hardest part of using VIP Shop Management inside of a tablet is because uh, VIP Shop Management we, we enter a lot of data and it has to be the problem obviously is it uh the let me just make this so you guys can see the problem is primarily the entering the data and the touch keyboard because there is no keyboard i mean you can attach a t keyboard but when you have a tablet the whole idea of having a tablet is you don't want a keyboard otherwise you would have a laptop so we created a mode called the tablet mode a long time ago and I, it was just a beta and I didn't finish it. But now uh, we are committed to uh, make it super easy to use VIP shop management on a tablet. And uh, the whole idea is, okay, so it does have a touch keyboard, right? But the problem is if I'm entering a phone number, why do I need uh, uh, to show, you know, the, the A, B, C, Ds? It's not, it's not numeric. It's a numeric uh, you know entry, but I was waiting for Microsoft to fix that problem Obviously, they're not interested. They just want to stick whatever they have. So I had to create my own uh, uh, Keyboard but integrating the, the, your own keyboard to a, a touch screen uh, Tablet is really hard, but it takes a lot of time But I definitely committed to make it happen where if you want to use VIP shop management on a tablet alone You should be able to do it and you should be able not to sacrifice any uh, wasting waste of time so let's see how that work so when you sign in you, you see now there is uh, VIP keyboard shows up uh, if you go to how to turn it on first of all you gotta turn that tablet mode on just go to settings and go to invoice settings right here and you're gonna see tablet mode beta um, it's on if it's on check make sure you check it but uh, do not use tablet mode unless you don't have a keyboard that's the only reason we have tablet mode so do not use it unless you don't have a keyboard so how that works let's see how that works so the challenge is uh, we used to have problems so returning customer if you click just click on it obviously this is microsoft keyboard so i can search mark i mean it works the same thing but the challenge was what if i wanted to say search phone number instead just click the two arrows right there and you see, and now uh, uh, VIP keyboard shows up, and now I can uh, I search a phone number, and it's really simple. You just type in anything I want. All right, and if you want to switch back, just switch back. So you can switch between uh, between both of them. All right. So the other challenge was let's close this. The other challenge was when you enter. Um, data right here so again because if I come in here and let's say I'm saying brake pads and when I click right you see it already has numbers but it's all the way up top it's not fast entry we're talking about fast entry here so now once I finish the typing the uh, the description if I click on cost VIP will take over, it'll switch it automatically. So let's say it's 28.95, and let's say I want to change the selling price. Uh, let's say 69.36, and let's say quantity is one, and just click add. So again, which is, makes it a lot easier. Again, when, when we entering number, we just want to see the number keypad. We don't want to see the whole thing because switching back and forth between this and this can take a lot of time. It's not like it's up, it's you have to switch back and forth. And if they put this number up top, now the keyboard is too big. Uh, not to mention, make sure the keyboard, you can resize the keyboard, make sure you resize the keyboard. Uh, having the keyboard have a screen doesn't make any sense. Just go to settings right here, and size and theme. You can even create your own keyboard, but make sure you change the size right there. Touch keyboard. And then you can change the size. I think I have it at 60. Something like that is good. Any, anything under 60, it looks good. But yes, don't make it more because what do you need to have? You gotta be able to see. You cannot just 
um, you cannot just uh, type half of the screen. You don't need all this. Like when you're typing on your phone, you have a tiny keyboard and you're fine. But here, that's fine. You can, oh yeah, I want to talk about that. So let's talk about uh, the, the customer request, diagnosis and recommendation, which that was a hard problem. Basically, uh, if you were using it, you couldn't even see anything. But now if you click on it, it's gonna bring it up and you still can type whatever you want. Um, say test and done and it fixes it. So you just click on that and it brings it up. So that, that's just for the tech mode. It helps a lot. That works for diagnosis and all that, even recommendation, all of them. So. So that uh, should be fixed. Um, if I want to search for a tire, tire hub, see it pops up automatically, which is beautiful. Let's say 225, 60, 16, search. And you know, add tires and that's it. Simple as that, let's just delete that. And what else I want to talk about? So when you go to settings, Oh, not this, my bad. When you go to reports and said, when you go, let's go to reports. Again, it pops up automatically. So again, imagine like the other keyboard popping up right here. You gotta switch back to numeric. It's just horrible. We just need to be, we just need to have things super fast. It makes it a lot easier. So like I said, I'm committed to make sure that this will make it super easy on you guys uh, to be able to enter data and use VIP shop management on a tablet mode. 100% without any sacrifices. Um, uh, until next time, thanks for watching.